Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Man, the toy news just keeps on coming. It seems as if we're getting new news about toys every single day. It's pretty crazy. But today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Mattel Creations website and a particular project which I think needs a little bit more attention because honestly, I'm surprised not enough people know about this and I really think it needs the chance to be able to be fully funded. If you guys don't know, Mattel Creations is actually their site where they do one-off projects, special projects, and exclusives. Now, they've actually started doing crowdsource projects on MattelCreations.com. You guys might remember, I did a whole live stream on trying to get the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Scareglow here on MattelCreations.com. That was quite the ordeal, but I managed to get through it and actually pre-order one Scareglow for myself along with a few other Master Universe trinkets. Now, another project has come across the way and I really think this project deserves a chance to be able to be fully funded for anyone who's a WWE fan. Guys, if you were ever a fan of WWF wrestling in the late 80s and early 90s, I think this project is for you. I, of course, am talking about the WWE Ultimate Edition's New Generation Arena. This is a crazy project, guys, and honestly, I was surprised that it's not getting as much traction as it should. I think a lot of fans of WWE would really appreciate this type of project, and I wanted to bring more attention to this so that it does have a chance to actually get fully funded, collecting a full-size ring for the WWE. Let's take a look at this Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena and see what you get for $250. The project needs 5,000 backers to be fully funded. It includes the New Generation Entrance Stage, fabric curtains, and a frame with seven LED light modes. And of course, it includes the Ultimate Edition Ring. It includes a detailed plank base underneath a fabric mat, apron, and fabric turnbuckles connected to the ring posts. Also included is a full-sized figure, the Ultimate Edition Diesel Action Figure, with swappable hands, head, and 30 ports of articulation. These are the main offerings in this crowdsource project. So this particular project, I don't think it's been getting enough traction, and I don't think Mattel's getting the kind of backers that they expect this early on. It's been going for about 18 days straight, and it's only been about 46% funded. In response to this, Mattel has actually put their money where their mouth is and decided to offer an early bird incentive package. Yes, indeed. The Macho Man has entered the house. Macho Madness announcers pack. Ooh, yeah. Macho Madness is about to run wild in the new generation's arena. <laughs> For what I understand, it actually comes with a 7-inch Macho Man announcers version in this wonderful, <laughs> just outlandish getup that he's wearing right here. He's going to be a 7-inch figure, and this is going to probably be an exclusive figure specifically for this crowdsource project. The Macho Madness pack also comes with an additional two fold-away chairs, a full-size announcer's desk with side skirt, two monitors for the announcers to actually watch the action as it unfolds, two WWE-branded microphones, and an additional headset, which the second commentator, whoever it is, Bobby the Rain Heenan, uh, Mean Gene Okerlund, anyone else who can sit beside Macho Man, do the play-by-plays as they're happening, and you have to act fast, because the Early Bird exclusive is only available until August 13th, 2021 at 9 p.m. Pacific. That's literally, oh my gosh, it's August 10th right now, that's only three days away. So, Anyone who backs this before August 13th, 2021 will receive the Macho Magnus Announcers Pack as well as all the other offerings, the LED, the LED Light Up Stage Diesel Figure, the Full Size Ultimate Edition New Generation Ring with Turnbuckles, Ropes, Side Skirts, and Walk Up Ramp. This is a dream project for any WWE fan, I have to say. And there's more. At 7,000 backers, they will unlock Doink the Clown. Another wonderfully original character for this particular release. He looks amazing, love his new expressions. It looks like he comes with two different heads. Um, and yeah, additional swappable hands. And that one-of-a-kind getup that only Doink could pull off. At 8,000 backers, they'll also include additional swappable ring skirts. There's not much time left in this project. There's only about 12 days left to go, and only 3 days left to go for the early bird. So if you guys are at all interested in this project as a WWE fan, the full-size AEW ring goes for about $150 US. 
This is only another $100 more, and it includes so much more. The AEW full-size ring is pretty much the exact same dimensions, 22 inches by 22 inches. Uh, includes side skirts, the turnbuckles, the ropes, and the walk-up stage. However, it does not include the LED entrance stage with curtain. And if you back the early bird, you're going to get the Macho Madness announcers pack. They are not even 50% yet at 12 days left to go. We need more people to start backing this project as quickly as that possible. About one or two weeks before the project is set to end, that's when a, a flood of different backers are going to come on. You know, fear of missing out, all that kind of stuff. But honestly, it's getting kind of close. We're not even 50% funded on this project. 2,300 backers. We need to get to at least 5,000 backers to make this project a success. Honestly, guys... $250 for all this amazing stuff. This is a dream project for any WWE fan. I really hope that you guys will think about backing this project. Honestly, it's a, it's an amazing opportunity. I'm not being paid to, t to say this. I just think it's a, a shame if it doesn't happen. It really is a great project. Well, guys, I hope that that's something to help this project move along. Only 12 days left. Please head to MattelCreations.com and click on the WWE Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena crowdsourcing project you guys won't regret it i i'm really looking forward to seeing this uh be realized oh my gosh so exciting but now that it comes down to it i really want to talk about another huge development which is something i missed out on honestly but of course nonetheless i am a massive fan of the massive universe that will never end and i really got excited when i saw these pictures on the internet guys oh my gosh PowerCon is just around the corner, September 11th, 2021. I am not sure if I'm going to be able to make it, honestly, but I'm so excited for whoever can because they just unveiled the packaging, in-package exclusives, and I can't believe it. These things look incredible. Oh, my gosh. Let's have a look at this new announcement from PowerCon. Oh, my God, guys. This is insane. Here we can see the Motu Origins Evil Horde 4-pack. Holy crap, guys. Take a look at these. Now, we saw the way these, these figures were going to look, uh, you know, with the promotional shots. But they are just now revealing what the package is going to look like. Oh, I'm so jealous for anybody who's going to be able to get one of these. Holy crap. Look at this wonderful design. We see the four characters here in their glory. All lined up in what looks like to be the Evil Horde's cave. I'm not even sure. Like, is that going to be the new uh, Fright Zone playset? Oh my god, that looks crazy. Looks like some sort of molten environment. What is going on? We see the the blacked out the Midnight Horde trooper. Um, I don't know. Like this is definitely filmation inspired Hordak with his arm attachment. I don't know what that is. I think it's a claw. Now, I, I, would th I would think that's Imp. I've always thought that that was Imp, you know, way back in the day. But it, it's just some sort of bad creature, the same logo that they keep using on all of their uh, Horde symbols. So I guess I guess it's just, you know, a companion piece. I don't, I'm not really sure what it is. If somebody knows what exactly that bad creature is that always is supposed to slap onto their wrists, please tell me in the comment section below. I'd really love to know. Uh, Grizzlor here in all of his fuzzy glory. And, of course, the Blood Trooper on the other side. The packaging is, is oh man, it's so unique, and I'm really loving this. I really am thinking that this is the new Fright Zone. We see Hordak's throne here. We see his stra his uh, his mount. I can't remember what that is. Uh, it was released very, very late in the line. Uh, two of the Horde, two additional Horde Troopers on the side there. This, if this becomes a realized playset, oh my god, I think I'm going to lose my mind. But the packaging is, is, is even more unique. It's actually, <laughs> now, this is, this is what's funny about this. Doesn't this remind you of like a, um, what's it called, Christmas cake uh, boxes, you know, the, 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 the Italian Christmas cakes, um, panettone, I think, that's, that's what they're called, if I'm not mistaken, somebody correct me in the, in the comment section below, I think it's panettone, but this is incredible, if we, look at, if we look at the way this works, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually a turntable, and it actually rotates to reveal the horde the, the the horde figures inside and once you take them out you can actually see the background of the fright zone and this is just ridiculous oh my god whoever gets their hands on this one of a kind uh playset because i think that's what this is it's a mini playset holy crap i am just over the moon with this i can't believe it 
showcases the original Fright Zone playset. Oh my gosh. The environment which it was supposed to be set in behind the, the backdrop. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I'm wondering if this is another Alex Jimenez uh, you know, design. Jeez, this is just incredible. I'm loving this packaging. As you know, I'm a huge fan of packaging design, so this really hits home for me. I can't believe this entire this this entire what do you call this? An you know um, a turntable? What is this thing? It's so it's amazing. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh! And I'm not even sure. I'm not. I'm not even getting this thing. I'm just freaking out over this. I can't believe it. And when you when you go to Paracon or once once you get these pre orders uh, delivered to you, it comes in its exclusive mailer package with Paracon on the top and the Evil Hordes uh, symbol sketched out by uh, by an artist. I, again, I'm not sure if it's Alex Jimenez, but what a wonderful collection! This is just in freaking sane, everybody. I'm I'm loving this, and I'm probably not even going to get it. I can't believe this. I'm just geeking out because I, I I'm I'm in to I'm totally in love with this package. And the design and the overall, you know, just the aesthetic of it is just blowing my mind. I can't believe it. They're definitely going to be a favorite in any collector's home. This is amazing. Congratulations to anybody who got this one. All right, let's take a look at the next exclusive, which is all oh, just as exciting, if not more. Oh my gosh, the Mechanical Mimics, Faker, Evil Robot Skeletor, and Duplicate, Evil Cybernetic Tiger. Holy crap! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this. This is insane. Check out the mailer box artwork. Oh crap, that's insane. Uh, I wish I knew who the artist was. It it's hard to, it's hard to tell with this fuzzy picture. And wh what do we see here though? We see uh Faker and Duplicate attacking uh Flying Fist He-Man. Holy crap, guys. This is insane. Oh my gosh, loving the artwork, loving the design. Guys, Mattel is really knocking it out of the park on the Master of the Universe Origins line. Let's have a look at the packaging design itself. There we are, the Mechanical Mimics. Now, this is also uh, very very reminiscent of the um, uh, Battlegrounds 2-pack uh, with, with um, uh, Battle Army He-Man and Battle Cat. Uh, it has the same... I think it has it's this, pretty much the same size box, but the artwork is completely different. It is a realized, uh, you know, design. We can see Snake Mountain in the background with... Who is that? There's a character I've never seen before. Um, let's just zoom in here a little bit more. There's something new. I'm hoping there's going to be a brand new character for the for the Master Universe line. If anybody who knows which... If anybody knows which character this is, please uh, let us know. Because I don't recognize that particular character at all. It looks almost like a, like a, like a witch character who's writing on a... a um, a futuristic broom of sorts. Kind of weird. Kind of crazy. Still loving this overall design. Here we can see at the top a fully rendered illustration. Uh, that is the Indian version of uh, Faker in India. And, of course, this wonderfully... Oh, man, this incredible looking duplicate. We have to all recognize that artist Joe Amato was the first one to actually come up with Faker Cat. Uh, you know, the kind of concept that I have to say, it's really hard to deny that this might have been inspired in some way by Joe Mata's work. So I just wanted to put that out there because honestly, I like to give credit to where credit's due. Joe is an amazing artist and he really needs to be given a lot more credit for, you know, this kind of thing. Because, uh, you know, whether it was intentional or not, I think a lot of people are going to see the similarities the colors themselves, the fact that, you know, it's a, the mechanical cat's face is pretty much in the same, uh, you know, style as Joe Amato's work. Again, it's hard to say definitively what actually happened in the process of making this tent, but I think it's hard to deny that there must have been somebody who may have perhaps seen Joe's work and was inspired by it. Anyway, moving on from that, this is an incredible piece of work. I can't believe this design realized in action figure form for the first time and finally we get a quick look at it just before power con starts to starts to, to start to happen um from what i understand a lot of people are going to start receiving these in the mail pretty soon this is looking incredible guys i am so excited for this the overall presentation the overall package i love this oh my gosh this is just something that I wanted to take a look at again. Oh my god, super excited about this. I'm not even getting this thing because, again, I was not one of the lucky ones who made it through the pre-orders. I really hope that everyone who is able to attend PowerCon can get their hands on this uh, you know, set. 
and I really hope you enjoy it because this looks incredible. Please enjoy it. I will live vicariously through your joy, guys. This is crazy. Mo2 Origins, Faker, and Duplicat. Holy crap, so amazing. Now, for the one set, the one exclusive, which I was really hoping to get, I didn't even care if I didn't get, you know, uh, um, Faker or Duplicata or, or, or the Horde Pack. I was really, really, really trying to get this. And, oh, failure. Total failure. But let's have a look at it tonight. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy, guys. I can't believe it. Look at this set. Oh, the Master, the Master of the Universe Origins Grayskull Accessory Pack. Oh, God. I wish I was able to get this. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. I wasn't able to get uh, any of the pre-orders on the PowerCon pre-order date. And at the same time, I had no chance to get this on Big Bad Toy Store. So I can only live vicariously through these pictures, through these photos. Let's have a look at it, guys. Here we go. The packaging design. Oh, again, this mailer. They didn't have to do it this way, but wow. What a wonderful, you know, just love letter to the fans in terms of the way it looks. Look at the illustrations here. It's a trap door, which is, of course, uh, in homage to the idea of the trap door, which holds all of these, uh, you know, monsters in, in, in the dungeon of, uh, of Castle Grayskull. It's labeled Master of the Universe Mysteries of Grayskull uh, Pack. Oh, my gosh. Just a wonderful mailer design. And that's just the mailer. Guys, this is crazy. So this is the this this is the actual flap itself. Uh, this is it. This is the interior flap open, and when it opens, it actually reveals the interior of the packaging. And this is where we see all accessories that are within, including the tentacle monster with the single eye, the actual full size trap door, which is a which affixes to Castle Grayskull itself, which is why I was so wanting to have this because it would have completed um, you know the Castle Grayskull set because it's it's literally missing. Uh, if anybody, who, any of us who, any of you guys who own Castle Grayskull uh, Origins playset, you know that the the actual crate for the for for the prison chamber is missing from the from the set itself. So, yeah, real shame. Uh, we can see where the the two the two peg holes where the tentacle monster actually plugs in. It also comes with the missing uh, spacesuit, which was uh, originally a, a cardboard cutout in the original Master, uh, Master Universe or, uh, Crest of Grayskull. And now it's a fully realized figure. <laughs> Again, I am kicking myself for not being able to grab this. This looks like a f really fun set. I am so jealous of anybody who was actually able to get their hands on this. And as an added bonus, it also includes the Spirit of Grayskull, which was part of uh, the concept design illustrations for Castle Grayskull when it first originally uh, was uh, conceived of. And yeah, that, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, probably can sit atop Castle Grayskull on the top of the, uh, the spires or anything like that. But yeah, what a wonderful set. We can see here that the <laughs> it's a wonderfully designed package. Uh, the box itself has... For the illustrations it looks like it's got some slime on the side here and a note to beware the dwell of souls so yes this is actually supposed to be um you know the dwell of souls the the the, the prison underneath at the foot of gray skull wonderful stuff and here is the, the exterior of the box and we finally get to see uh uh yeah this is, so this is the this is the back of the box so we got, so this fuzzy thing here that which I was kind of like puzzled as was what it was it's actually a, a wolfman sticking his head out the other side we can see that here oh that is so clever so great what a wonderful attention to detail it is the fully realized gate here uh, fully rendered uh, iron iron gate which holds all these creatures we can see here that it's definitely a wolfman trying to claw his way out um, another the the backside of that claw of I don't know which creature that is. The slime, which actually is drib dribbling onto the side of the the uh, wall here, um, a snake creature, which is uh, just wrapping itself around one of the one of the bars, uh, looks like a, a spider type creature with like multiple eyes, and uh, yeah, some sort of some sort of insect like uh, uh, creature here, another fuzzy uh, <laughs> appendage. And yeah, one creature who's definitely uh, been in the in the in the dungeons for just a little bit too long. He's actually gone skeletal, and of course, the one-eyed tentacle monster who is included with the set. Oh my gosh, guys, <sighs> I'm so jealous. And you know what? I do wish everyone who was able to get this set to that they. I hope that they enjoy it. 
and I hope you're not a scalper because honestly, I'm so, so tempted to pick this up on the secondary market, but it's just going for the prices are just astro freaking nomical. This would be the this would have been the crown jewel of my collection for uh, for for Mas for uh, Castle Grayskull as an accompaniment as an accessories pack, of course. And I have to say, if anybody's going to PowerCon and they feel you know, so inclined and are really, really nice and really enjoy my channel. If you might think about picking one of these up for me, uh, I'm happy to pay, uh, you know, for the shipping and for the for the for the uh, for the accessory pack itself. Of course, you know, please hit me up on Instagram. Please let me know if if there's anything I can work out with you guys. If anybody's attending PowerCon and you know might have the opportunity to pick another one of these up, oh god, I would really, really appreciate a solid like that. You guys, of course, it's not necessary. I'm just teasing. Uh, not really. I really would like it if somebody could do that for me, but it's not. You know, it's not the end of the world. I I missed my chance, and it 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 does happen. And uh, I'm just so so regretful. Honestly, this is my one regret, uh, you know, for not being able to pre-order this when I had the chance because I totally screwed up. So, yeah, it is my fault, and oh, I'm just so jealous. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about these PowerCon exclusives that have finally been revealed in their packaging? Are you guys attending PowerCon? Are you going to be able to pick up one of these in person? Were you one of the lucky ones who actually pre-ordered these during the PowerCon pre-order or on Big Bad Toy Store? Guys, I'm super excited about all these, even though <laughs> more than likely I'm not going to get any of them. But they just look so great and I wanted to take a little bit of time and share these with you guys. Oh my god, this is incredible. Guys, please leave your comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. If you have any comments or suggestions on anime, cartoons, toys, collectibles, or anything else you'd like me to review, please leave that in the comment section below. And consider subscribing, as it helps YouTube to realize I'm doing a great job, and you guys enjoy my work. Well, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Geek Proud.